Monks first made these salty treats as a food for the Lenten season. Today you can find these treats hand rolled or machine twisted, hard or soft, and salty or sweet. So what is this tasty food and how does it fit into our celebration of Lent? Lenten fasts in the early church were rigorous, with the faithful excluded from eating meat or dairy products. Usually, only one meal and a few snacks were allowed, and one of the favorite snacks of the day was a delicacy we still eat today, the pretzel. There are two common legends of the origin of the pretzel, both involving a monk and the significance of the treat as a sign of prayer. The first story is that an Italian monk folded pretzel dough to resemble arms folded across the chest in prayer, as was the custom in early centuries. According to this story, the monk named his creation Bracelli, which means little arms in Italian, thus becoming the root of the German bretzel and the English pretzel. The second story is that a monk created the pretzel as a treat for children who correctly recited their prayers. In this story, the modern word pretzel derived from the Latin preziola, which means little reward. Because the pretzel is made from just a few simple ingredients, it was a popular food of the poor. However, the pretzel's association with prayer also makes it the perfect food for the poor in spirit. The pretzel's saltiness also has a special significance. As Christ told his followers in the Sermon on the Mount, you are the salt of the earth. Jesus went on to say that if a salt loses flavor, it is good for nothing but to be cast out onto the ground. Just as salt's purpose is to season food, so is prayer's purpose to season our hearts and lives. And just as salt makes one thirsty, so prayer creates an inner thirst for God's presence in everyday life. As India's Mahatma Gandhi once said, prayer is not asking, it is a longing of the soul. It is a daily admission of one's weakness. Today, admit your need for Christ through prayer and let him respond by drawing you closer to him.